defense even announced the first perfect. Iran will soon be able to track potential military targets across the Middle East and beyond. As Russia is all set to provide advanced satellite system that would greatly boost Tehran's defense systems. According to a report in the Washington Post Iran would get a Russian-made Canopus V satellite. It will allow Tehran to continuously keep an eye on facilities ranging from Persian Gulf oil refineries and Israeli military bases to Iraqi barracks that house U.S. troops. Reports indicate that the launch could happen within months. The newspaper, Washington Post, cited three unnamed sources. Biden administration officials and U.S. allies in the Middle East fear that the Earth observation satellite, which Russia has stipulated in the agreement, will launch for use by Iran, will give Iran an unprecedented ability to track military targets in the region, the Washington Post reported Thursday, citing the officials. The concerns were shared with the newspaper by current and former U.S. administration officials, as well as a senior member of the government of an unnamed Middle Eastern state. According to the report, the satellite would considerably enhance Iranian surveillance capabilities by allowing continuous monitoring of installations ranging from Persian Gulf oil refineries and Israeli military stations to Iraqi barracks housing U.S. troops. Undisclosed officials claim that Iranian military officials have been heavily involved in the acquisition, with leaders of Iran's elite Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps making multiple trips to Russia to help negotiate the terms of the agreement since 2018. Moreover, Russian experts reportedly flew to Iran this spring to assist in the training of ground technicians who would operate the satellite from a newly built station near the northern city of Karaj. The Canopus V satellite is marketed for civilian use only. Iran successfully launched a domestic military satellite designated Nur-1 last year, after a string of high-profile failures, but the spacecraft was mocked by a senior Pentagon official as a tumbling weapon. The new satellite will be launched in Russia and will use Russian hardware, including a camera with a resolution of 1.2 meters, a significant improvement over Iran's current capabilities, although, the outlet notes, below the quality achieved by US spy satellites or high-end commercial satellite imagery providers. But, the most important part of that is, Iran will reportedly be able to task the new satellite to eavesdrop on any area it wants, as often as it wants, the officials claimed. It's not the best in the world, but it's higher resolution and very good for military aims, a Middle Eastern official is quoted in the report as saying. This capability will allow Iran to maintain an accurate target bank and to update that target bank within a few hours. The prospect that Iran could be able to share the imagery with pro-Iranian militant groups across the region, from Houthi rebels fighting Saudi-backed government forces in Yemen to Hezbollah militants in southern Lebanon, indeed triggers serious concerns among the US and its Middle Eastern allies. According to the WP, given that Iran is developing a variety of ballistic missiles and drones that can hit faraway targets with pinpoint accuracy, improved satellite photography could make them even more effective. At the International Aviation and Space Show in 2015, the Iranian company Banyan Danish Shark, the operator of the system, and Vniyam and the Barl Corporation, the companies that build and launch Canopus V, signed a contract for the creation of a complex for remote sounding of the Earth. On the other hand, Iranian President Hassan Rouhani made pointed to the good relations between Iran and Russia over the past years, adding, in the last eight years, the relations between the two countries have developed in various fields. Rouhani appreciated the Russian President Vladimir Putin due to all the efforts which have been done in the political, economic, and regional aspects, saying, Iran and Russia have very important cooperation in the issues related to Syria and important tripartite cooperation about Azerbaijan and the Caucasus. We also have very good cooperation in Eurasia with Russia and member states. 
referring to the cooperation between Iran and Russia in the field of military and defense issues, as well as the construction of two nuclear power plants, the Iranian president said, our relations with Russia have become much broader than before, and efforts are underway with this country to revive JCPOA. The development of relations with Russia will be in the interest of the two nations and certainly in the interest of the region and global issues," he added. Iranian president pointed to the agreement between Iran and Russia on the implementation of joint projects, including power plants and railways in Iran, saying, fortunately, moves in this direction have begun. Of course, we expected this project to start a little earlier, but some problems caused these plans to start with a delay. The national projects of the Ministry of Energy in Hormuzgan in the south and Ilam and Kermansha provinces in the west of the country were inaugurated by the president on Thursday morning through a video conference. In a recent press briefing, U.S. State Department Deputy Spokeswoman Jolena Porter responded to a question about the satellite with a non-answer, injecting more mystery into the issue. We're aware of these media reports about Russia potentially providing Iran with an advanced satellite system. Outside of that, we have nothing further to announce at this point. We don't have any responses or any potential responses," said Porter, killing the conversation. Despite all of the above concerns, Israel Space Program Chief and Major Gen Yitzhak Ben Israel poured cold water on concerns from the report. Who knows if it is true, he said, noting that Putin's denial could be more authentic on this issue, which involves a Russian state body, than when the Russian president plays word games about whether his government or state-sponsored private hackers attack the US with cyber tools. But even if the report is true, Ben Israel said that it lacks any strategic significance. To an average reader, a satellite which can get pictures within 1.2 meters from the ground sounds phenomenal. In fact, he said that currently Iran and any other country can buy satellite photos from the commercial sector at a mere $10,000 per shot which are three times better. Ben Israel said, this is not a new threat for Israel. It is easier for them the Iranians to just purchase satellite photos in the commercial sector and they do not need to get satellites from others. The Israeli space chief said that purchasing a satellite from Russia could signal that Tehran is internalizing and admitting that it will take a long time, much longer than expected, before its homegrown satellite industry matures. This would be an additional relief to the US as it would appear to show that Iran is nowhere near developing an intercontinental ballistic missile capability to reach America. Often, there is much in common between satellite launches and ICBM launches. However, this last point would be neutral for Israel, which has been within range of the Islamic Republic's more standard ballistic missiles since the 1990s.